Your Samsung Smart TV could be keeping a closer eye on you than you realize. The internet-connected television can fulfill your TV whims with just a voice command. But as the Daily Beast first reported, the TV could be recording your sensitive conversations too. And on top of all of that, Samsung can share the information with third-party services. That finding is sparking new privacy concerns today. Joining us with his take is Jeffrey Vagel, Executive Director for the Center for Technology and Innovation and Competition at the University of Pennsylvania Law School. Jeffrey, thanks Thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. So I want to start with the line that sparked this entire conversation. It's a line in the Samsung Smart TV Privacy Policy Supplement. It says, please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data captured and transmitted to a third party through your use of voice recognition. What do you think about that? Does a company have a responsibility to give you more of a warning than this one line in their privacy policy? Well, I, I guess it depends on who you ask, but uh, I think the, the FTC would say yes. Uh, consumers, at least here in the United States, uh, deserve uh, a, a better idea of where their data is going. And as we all know, these end-user license agreements, or EULAs, uh, as they're called, are often not read at all. Uh, so most people agree to these when they open their new uh, software or the new computer, their new television, uh, but they really don't know uh, what's inside these EULAs, and, and even if they do read it, what it really means. Right, and Samsung has given a more robust statement ever since they've been getting a lot, of, a lot of interest in this today. They said Samsung takes consumer privacy very seriously. In all of our smart TVs, we employ industry standard safety, uh, security safeguards and practices, including data encryption. They also pointed out that you could disconnect the TV from Wi-Fi. You don't have to use this voice activation. So I guess the question is, is this something we should be worried about? Do you think this is a service that's mostly designed to improve the way the smart TV works, or could could they use this information for something else? Well, it's both. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think that Samsung has any nefarious motives behind this uh, necessarily. I think they really are trying to improve their product. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, if the security is not in place to protect these data, uh, anything could happen. Uh, as we've seen with the Sony breach and others, uh, data at rest that is not encrypted or not properly protected can easily be accessed by others, and including state agencies and hackers overseas. So uh, there is genuine concern, uh, well-founded concern about these data and, uh, and where it's going and how it's being stored. And I think consumers are probably becoming more and more aware of uh, the fact that uh, their data is, is going farther and further uh, than um, than they'd ever expected. And Jeffrey, of course we know now the Internet of Things is all the rage. It's all about connecting everything in your home to the Internet. Are there other devices in our homes right now that could do this? I mean, anything else we should be taking a second eye at? Well, uh, yes. I mean, it, it's uh, we could start with uh, the phone that probably everybody has in their pocket, which is constantly giving out uh, information uh, that you may not be aware of. For example, uh, just location data alone uh, means that we are carrying tracking devices, in effect, along uh, willingly uh, everywhere we go. Similarly, a lot of people have uh, these uh, home protection services with cameras in their house that are hooked up to their internet, if not properly protected. Those can also be leaking information. And then we have uh, you know, we have the Nest thermostats, uh, we have door locks, and we have refrigerators, which will be soon uh, be texting you uh, about uh, information that you need to pick up milk on the way home, et cetera. That information is also going out. Um, it's, it, it is something to be concerned about, uh, and I'm not sure that every consumer knows exactly what to expect when they buy these items. Yeah, time to start taking a closer look at those privacy agreements. Jeffrey, thanks very much for being here. Thank you.